Hello everyone. Welcome you all in my YouTube channel Engineering Guru Pandit Andy. You can join also on Telegram channel that is Engineering Guru Pandit Andy. So welcome you all in video series of basic mechanical engineering subject. In this video we will learn steam stop valve. So let's start with construction. Here the schematic diagram of steam stop valve we can see that here this is the hand wheel this is the nut this part is yoke this is glad this is stud this is called body this part is called spindle this is valve here steam in and steam out this part is called valve seat and flanges so these are the main parts of the steam stop valve now we will see the constructions of the steam stop valve so when the stop valve plays on the top of the shell then it is called junction valve but whenever is placed near to prime mover so this is called steam stop valve the main body is made of cast iron so here in this figure we can see that this is the body it is made of cast iron then the valve valve seat and nut through which the valve spindle works are made of brass for smooth working so this is valve uh, this is valve seat and this is nut it is made of of brass the valve body has two flanges at right angle to each other so in schematic diagram we can see that this is the flange and this is the another flange so at the right angle to each other so the steam stop valve is connected to the boiler through bottom flange and other is connected to outlet the lower end of the spindle is connected to the valve and upper end is connected to the hand wheel through a glad the glad prevent the leakage of steam so in this diagram we can see that this is the glad this is the hand wheel this is the spindle lower end is connected the lower end of the spindle is connected to the valve and upper end is connected with the hand wheel so this is the hand wheel is prevent the leakage from the steam so this is the construction of the steam stop valve now we will see the working of the steam stop valve so the spindle is rotated by means of hand wheel the rotation of spindle cause the valve to move up and down so with the help of this hand wheel the rotation of spindle the valve move up and down like this when the hand wheel is rotated in anti clockwise the valve lift up the end the steam is allowed to pass through the clearance between the valve and its seat two two types of rotation is possible if one is anti clockwise and another one is clockwise so so whenever it rotated anti clockwise the valve lift up and steam is allowed to pass through the clearance between the valve and its seat the amount of steam passing to the steam pipe is controlled by valve lift so when wheel is rotated clockwise it close the steam passes so the when the valve touches the valve seat flow of the steam completely stop so in this figure we can see that this is the valve seat so when valve touch this valve seat the steam flow is completely stop so this is the working of the steam stop valve now we will see the function and location of the steam stop valve so the function of the steam stop valve is to regulate the flow of the steam from the boiler to the steam pipe or one steam or from one steam pipe to other and to shut off the steam flow when not required 
now location it is located to the highest part of the boiler shell that is the top of the shell so if you find my video very helpful you can like comment share and subscribe you can also join us on telegram channel engineering guru 2020 now next is the important questions for university exam this type of question may be asked explain the very briefly the function of the following mountings that is top, uh, steam stop valve it may ask like explain with this case steam stop valve or maybe ask with the need sketch explain construction and working of the steam stop valve so more video will be come for the basic mechanical engineering subject so stay channel thank you